Hi, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Uh, today, I'm, today I'm gonna go over another troubleshooting video and this time look at the uh, custom browser user scripts and in particular I'll be uh, unblocking Brave Browser from the archive.is website. And uh, this uh, website is a uh, archiving uh, web page tool that I've been using for several years now and I in fact all those references are uh, state this in each one of my videos. I include this little notes of fight back and censorship so you can bookmark sites, channels, and accounts and check periodically. That's if you're unsubscribed without you uh, knowing. Uh, but uh, as well, you can remember to always archive website pages in case they get deleted and or changed. And yeah, so it's always important to be using tools like this one. But then all of a sudden it stopped working for Brave. Uh, but anyways, I'll get to that in a bit. And also note, as always, you can play this video at a faster speed or you can download read notes uh, and the link will be in the description below as well as viewing these notes all in uh, article format on the Hive blockchain link in, again in the description below. So let's just jump right ahead to so topics to cover us introduction to archive.is and the Brave browser. So archive.is uh, yeah, website no longer supports the Brave browser then I go over the solution which I found online was a custom browser user script and then MES custom uh, user script modification so I just modify this tiny bit just to make it more general. All right, so let's go further. So introduction to archive.is and the Brave browser. So as I've stated many times before, to ensure that websites and web pages are preserved from either censorship or simply lack of maintenance, it is important to always archive web pages. I've been doing so uh, mainly with the website archive.is and mainly with their browser extension. And uh, yeah, note that the uh, website archive.is appears to be mirrored alongside archive.vn and, and archive.today. So any any one of them or any of them can be used to archive web pages and will be viewable on the other sites as well. And I'll reference them all as uh, archive.is. That's uh, yeah, That was the original. They just used that forever. And I, they still use that name occasionally in their website. But I'll just use this reference as archive.is. So note that the browser extension can be downloaded from here. Just for reference, there's a Chrome extension there and it works for Brave browser. So I used to use the Google Chrome browser, but for the past six plus months, I've been using the new Brave browser, which uses the same quote, Chromium web browser architecture, but allows users and publishers to earn cryptocurrency in the form of the Brave attention token or, or BAT or BAT for short. And here just a Wikipedia note on Chromium for web browser. So Chromium web browser is a, a free and open, uh, open source software project from Google that the source code can be compiled into a web browser. Google uses the code to make its Chrome browser, which has more features than Chromium. And many other browsers are also based on Chromium code, most notably Microsoft Edge and Opera as well as a Brave browser. So essentially Brave has the same user experience as the Google Chrome browser I was using before. But now I earn crypto and which can be converted directly into cash on an exchange. You can learn more about Brave on their website, but please, uh, please use my referral link. Just might as well. My referral link if you would like to download it. And here's a link to it. Brave.com and then slash TMX306. So anyways, I had uh, no issues archiving. Uh, yeah, yeah, I had no issues archiving using the archive.is website until a few days ago when the archive.is extension and website stopped working for the Brave browser. So we're going for this archive.is website no longer supports the Brave browser. So now when I try to archive web pages on the Brave browser, the archive website or websites uh, in plural, yeah, because archive.is, archive.vn, etc. has many different mirrors. Uh, they all redirect to the following error page stating to change browser, yeah, to change browser. So it goes straight to here, archive.vn slash unsupported dash browser. So upgrade for full experience and looks like you may be using a web browser version that we don't support make sure you're using the most recent version the most recent version of your browser or try using one of these supported browsers to get the full experience you can use chrome opera uh, vivaldi uh, edge mozilla and tor so i did some digging and found out that the founder of the archive website has a uh, has a grudge against Bray for some of their country specific reward policies but before i get to that let's just uh let's just go to the brave browser right here so here, here's brave and it shows you can earn earn some crypto it also has some uh, built-in ad block and so on so let me just uh go to archive.is so if i go here yeah so it automatically redirects to here so that's archive.is even if i go archive.vn like that that automatically goes there if i go to archive dot uh today so this again these are all part of their mirror ones it just redirects archive.vn 
and goes here and uh, this is their built-in um, or I mean they're uh, just a browser extension here this so this uh, on the top icon there archive page so you can go to a web page for example let's just go to my percentage calculator percentage calculator like here and just archive it so if I click here just with that uh, so that's what I like using but yeah, it automatically goes to archive.vn and unsupported browser so yes <laughs> that is an issue we gotta get rid of yeah so I did some digging and found that the founder has a grudge against uh, brave for some of their country specific token or road policies so this is from the uh, the brave browser subreddit so here someone asked a question uh, brave isn't supported with archive.is anymore and then this was posted by remote uh, by nature and then ad admins are cool sent a link to or a, another archive website archive.org which archive the archive.today or .is blog and then states apparently brave doesn't pay out to some countries and the owner of archive.is is pissed and blocked the browser and then says well that's lame other browsers don't even have a tipping system what a d and then this person goes over uh yeah, some more comments about uh about brave and uh that owner uh, but anyways going further so it appears that there were some uh, issues regarding brave's kyc or uh, know your customer policy as well as some miscommunication over Brave's referral program, and I'll get to those in a bit. So this know your customer from uh, from uh, Wikipedia is know your customer or know your client KYC guidelines and financial services requires that professionals make an effort to verify the identity, suitability, and risks involved with maintaining a business relationship. The procedures fit within the broader scope of a bank's anti-money laundering or AML policy. Anyway, so yeah, so. Yeah, since Brave is dealing with uh, with uh, cryptocurrency that can be exchanged for money, uh, usually these banking uh, guidelines are uh, required to be followed. So anyway, so this is a blog.archive.today. So if you go there, this is a later uh, archive I, that I've archived, a later link, uh, later than the one that was inside here. Yes, yeah, more recent one. And then yeah, it states here, uh, why are you checking for unsupported browser, etc. They're asking him and then he says, using other browsers prevent people from getting scammed by Brave. <laughs> Hashtag Brave scam. So this is the founder replying to anonymous comments. And then a uh, uh, person keeps going, uh, provide details about how Brave uh, allegedly scammed your friend. And then he puts some links, uh, which are screenshots, uh, screenshot dialogue with uh, Brave. And uh, yeah, so they're discussing KYC and so on. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to be going over that. And uh, yes, yeah, so I was also discussing some uh, referral programs, uh, the miscommunication uh, with it. And uh, you can see here, this is from uh, from the uh, yeah from the archive.is webmaster, the founder, or, or whoever whoever's running it, and says yeah they don't they're not uh, they don't have uh, they're not participating in the Brazen referral program, but they're discussing referral programs earlier. And yeah, here, if I just go, uh, zoom into this particular email, uh, the account link to this one here is based in Russia and the referral program is no longer available there in Russia. So yeah, just <laughs> some miscommunication and so on. And let's just keep going further. And then uh, the user asks uh, later, hey, you've lost a lot of users over your petty actions. And then uh, the uh, webmaster says, oh, what makes you think that if your users is something bad when there's no goal to pump the share price, it would, all, it would allow to cut expenses and provide captcha less access to everyone. So anyways, uh, <laughs> and just go through that chat if you so wish. So let's just jump right in. So solution, custom browser user script. The solution to this particular issue was included was also included in the Brave subreddit referenced earlier. Here's a link to it. And so this user says, uh, yep, he, has a gr he just has a grudge. Edit, here you go, uh, user script to bypass his BS. So he, he posts a link to pastebin.com, which is a text sharing service. And someone asks, is there an easy way to, to add this to Brave? And he says, depends on how you define, uh, quote, easy. There's different user script managers. I personally use Violent Monkey, which is open source. There's also uh, Tamper Monkey, which is closed source. Uh, then you should be able to uh, just click the icon plus symbol to create a new script, paste it in, and you should be done. Alternatively, or alternatively you can, to make it easier for you, I've uploaded the script to Greasy Fork. So basically install Violent Monkey. Then go here, greasyfork.org, and has a link there. Uh, with the script and you just click the, this uh, click install the script and you should be set and the person says thanks really appreciated nice one I like the log entry too and going uh, yeah further so that, that user was named uh, reddit was right so the reddit uh, was was right user uh, wrote a custom browser script or quote user script or user script without the space uh, that bypasses the archive.is restrictions and which can be viewed on pastebin which is a text storage and sharing website so here's a wikipedia user script uh, a user script or user uh, with a space script is a program usually written in javascript for modifying web web pages to augment 
browsing. So let's change how the browser renders the uh, websites and so on. So in order to use the script, we first need to install a browser script manager such as Violent Monkey. So here's a link to uh, Violent Monkey on the Chrome. And uh, yeah, Chrome works with uh, Brave. So Chrome Web Stores, Violent Monkey, an open source user script manager that supports a lot of browsers. Uh, Violent Monkey provides user script supports for browsers, works on browsers with web extension support, supports most scripts for Grease Monkey and Temper Monkey. It's a lot of monkeys and features updates automatically according to metadata. Scripts will be executed in order as shown in the list. And GM functions, I'm not sure what those are, are supported. Support uh, import f uh, f from and export to a zip file as well as sync to Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive, and WebDAV. So yes, that's pretty uh, fascinating stuff. So this is the first time I've, I've dealt with uh, user scripts. So if you go here, copy and paste, and let's just download this one so we could just add, add to Brave. So add extension, and it should be done. It should show up right over here. And there it is. So it's added to it. Let's move this over there. So now you just go right click options. And now you have, you can just press this plus button. So you can just press this, uh, press this uh, plus button, go to new and has a this new script like that. So let's continue further. So now we could create a new script and just copy and paste the custom one from pastebin that the Reddit was right user uh, share. And I put a, uh, just copy and paste it over here. But you can just copy and paste this pastebin and paste this over there and now so yeah here's the uh, JavaScript version but then if you just go to the plain text version of this one copy and then we can just go straight into this one and we can just go and paste like that so we can just paste it like that and it shows here match archive.is it shows and it goes through the function and the, the, the coding and says basically so you have the brave browser here and it basically what it does is removes yeah, removes this cookie. So delete cookie, uh, this unsupported browser, and so on. It just does some other stuff that's uh, beyond the scope of this video. And uh, yeah, so uh, we could just do that, and we can go save and close. Or I'm just gonna uh, close this right now. It just uh, not not use that. We could also just download it straight from this right here. So Reddit was right. Also included the script on the script sharing uh, script sharing website Greasy Fork, and which automatically can install onto Violent Monkey. Hashtag in, inter, in, <laughs> interesting internet naming yeah so you got reddit was right greasy fork violent monkey and so on so we can just copy this one so there's many ways of doing this so there's greasy fork which is you could just put in a bunch of uh, scripts and then you could just uh, unblock brave archive.is you install it there yeah so you just put a link there so copy and paste and then we have this so we just install install script and now we can just confirm installation install it this strict directly to violent monkey and we are done. So it should be done. So go back to the violent monkey here. Yeah, there it is. It shows here and it shows disable. Uh, you can disable, enable, and etc. So going for this, so once installed, make sure the user script is enabled. So, so this thing is enabled. If you click it, it will disable. And there's the edit button. You can edit and so on. So when the script is working, it should indicate on the browser icon that has matched with the archive.is website over here. Yeah, so it would, it would show a one like that when you go to archive.is. And uh, before we go further, so MES custom user script modification. Since the archive.is website has multiple mirror websites such as archive.vn and archive today, I've made a slight modification to account for all of these and put a paste bin there. And basically, I just included this. So he just had a match archive.is. I just included the same thing, but archive.vn and archive.today. You can download that one there. So MES paste archive.is is dot is support for brave browser so let's just uh go here or you could just modify it directly so let's scroll down further so alternatively you can just manually edit the previous user script directly into violent monkey so anyways go back here so this is working for archive.is but but number this was of archive.vn uh, yeah this is archive.is there let's just uh, re refresh so this is showing there so if i go here and then click, yeah, so now it shows, and there's the install uh, Chrome extension, which just goes to here. Yeah, so this works now, because that's archive.is, because it is showing you that it works. Uh, but uh, if you go to archive.vn, this doesn't show, and this doesn't show that it's running. And here, going back here, it shows you that this is running, or let's just click this, here, or just hover over. You have to yeah, just click it. If you click the violent monkey, it shows you which ones match. So unblock uh, Brave from archive.is, because it matched the URL there. But let's just, but doesn't match on this one. It's archive.vn. Let's just refresh, and it, it won't it won't match up there. And uh, yeah, so let's just go back to here, and click the edit button. 
and then let's just go exactly what he wrote and this is just match that but let's just go to add match space let's go to make the same formatting HTTPS and then go archive.is or .vn slash and then also match so it also would match if it goes here archive dot uh, today and, and if there are any other ones you can just add them to so save and close so everything is, looks right and now uh, check for updates you could also check for updates if someone updated somehow or if using it somewhere else so anyway so let's just go back to here and I mean go back to here it says archive.vn refresh and now yes yeah, so now it shows up with the VN one like that so let's just delete this and there you go so now this works <laughs> so we remove that and yeah fascinating stuff so now if you go here and just you can just click this button but first let's just refresh this so it's yes yeah, refresh now I click the archive button and then it'll automatically start archive yeah so it goes to archive.vn there's archi archiving this page was last archived two hours ago let's just save it again and let's just pause or our, we'll get back to that in a bit so let's just go back here and uh, and then it should be done by then. So yeah. So so for further info on coding with Violent Monkey, you can check out their website here. Uh, and also their um, yeah, their website is is just on GitHub. So another um, uh, website is usually just for uh, open open source programming or closed source or whatever you want to program. So anyways, it goes to violentmonkey.github.io/api/matching, and this is a link where it discusses how you can match and use different uh, other stuff right here. So it discusses this match function there. Anyway, so yeah, so just uh, do that as you wish. So this is the first time I'd used a custom browser user script before, and it is a, and it is great to be able to circumnavigate any unnecessary restrictions on the internet. So let me know if this tutorial helps, and let's go back here. It should be loaded by now, so it's still going. Let's just pause, and then hopefully it should be done by then. Or actually, no, it's done almost. And uh, yeah, there. So I just unpause quickly. And uh, yeah, so it, there's the archives. This is uh, yeah our website. Uh, in fact, percentagecalculator.mes.fm. So yeah. Make sure to use that as well, and you could uh, share your calculations. So, so anyways, that is all for today. Hopefully, you learned, and uh, yeah, hopefully, you learned and enjoyed. And like always, could be uh, you could download these exact notes in the link in the description below, as well as viewing these uh, this whole this whole uh, video these all these video notes in the uh, in article format on the Hive blockchain. So you go there, click the links, and just go to Pastebin directly. And uh, yeah, you can play around with it. All the links will be in the description below. Anyways, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solo.